manipulate me to doing what they wanted me to do. Um, I struggled my entire childhood with weight and I never felt attractive or worthy of male attention and suddenly my first year of college I start losing all this weight. By the time I graduated I was ready to make a bigger difference. I felt extremely self-conscious about my breasts because that was the first thing to go when I lost all the weight. And once I did that I started garnering all of this attention from men after feeling what it was like, that validation and, you know, the compliments for the first time, I did not want that to go away. Manipulate me to doing what they wanted me to do. Um, I don't really see myself as a victim. I, I don't like that word. I, I did make my own decisions, even though they were terrible decisions. What you are saying is that the concept of consent is sort of meaningless in the power dynamic between the men, mostly, who are controlling the porn industry and a young 21-year-old actress such as yourself. Absolutely. When there's four white male producers in the room and you say something like that to them and they all just laugh, I mean, it's kind of devastating and it makes you not want to speak up and say anything again. When you walked out of that um, filming area at the end of that particular video uh, film, did you in your heart know this is going to be a disaster for me? It didn't hit until, I think, the next day because the adrenaline was still very high. Um, but immediately after it was released, it was, it shattered my entire world. Uh, the reason I thought it was okay for me to do porn was because I thought no one would ever find out about it. There's millions of girls who film themselves having sex and uh, do things like that and no one knows their name. No one knows who they are, no one recognizes them. So. I wanted to do it as my dirty little secret, but it blew up in my face. And reading the words of some of these girls who have been sex trafficked and forced into porn and all of these stories of girls whose lives have been ruined by it and by men who have taken advantage of them and by contracts that they didn't even, didn't even understand the jargon of. It, it makes me feel like, okay, maybe, maybe it was good that I started talking and that right. I posted this interview and that I'm speaking out now because other people feel the same way. And even if they don't relate on a, as deep a level as, you know, doing porn, they can relate on the level of being insecure and being pressured into doing something right. they didn't want to do. The stares I get, I feel like people can see through my clothes and it brings me deep shame. It, it makes me feel like, it makes me feel like uh, I lost all right to my privacy. But it's, it was very hard for me to date after and I don't think it was hard for me to date because it was hard to find a man. It was hard to find somebody who wasn't into it. I was very lucky to meet a man who had never even heard of me, which was fantastic.